do singing. Someone who definitely does do singing is BBC Scotland weather presenter Judith Ralston. Before her days beaming sunshine into homes across the nation, Judith was a professional opera singer. Sadly, her operatic career was cut short after a vocal injury. But nonetheless, she wants to convert me from virtually tone deaf to virtuoso performer. Good evening. Well, it's been a beautiful day, and beautiful days lead to gorgeous sunsets, as uh, depicted there by one of our weather watchers. I've come to the studio Hi, to surprise her. Driving in really quite chilly air from the <laughs> Hi, Judith. <laughs> Des. What's the story here? Isn't it? Uh -huh. Des doesn't do weather, is it? No, not at all. Quite different, actually. Here to be through. La 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 la. Ah, <laughs> so we are doing Des doesn't do singing, and you can properly sing. Well, I used to be able to, but I know the mechanics of it and I know a lot about it, so I've got a challenge for you. Oh, no. Oh. Come on, I'm going to slip into something more comfortable. All right. Do it. <laughs> the gauntlet's been thrown down, come on. Can you maybe do a bit of singing first and then promise you I will do some? You've got to promise me you're going to do it. Would I set you up? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I could just... Islands in the stream. That is what we are, no one in between. How can we be wrong? Sail away with me to another world. And the all important question where was I going to sing? So, Des, see that Lewis Capaldi song? You Pressure. Come on, Ned. Off you go. Telly. <laughs> <laughs> and the stark reality of the performance was beginning to set in. So, here we are. Oof. The set of the edit. So this is where you're going to be performing tonight. How are you feeling? <sighs> I'm not going to lie, I am. Sometimes when I open my mouth, it's OK. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I open my mouth, it's nothing like what the song's meant to be, and I just don't know what version's going to come out of my mouth when I'm there tonight. I feel like a mother. I'm nervous. <laughs> But thankfully, my pal Judith was waiting in the wings for moral support. But didn't want to miss out on one last option. It's very moving, actually. Oh, it's because I could see you standing up Green. there. <laughs> I was just singing it right at you, trying to make you proud. There's do singing. Do you know what? Didn't think I'd say this. Oh, brilliant. Right. Thank you. And to you. Good morning. Well, some heavy snow in the forecast with a number of warnings in force. For the northern half of Scotland, we've a yellow warning. However, it's this next tier of warning. It's an amber Met Office warning in force. It's the mainly higher rural communities of northern Scotland will be affected. Factor in keen easterly winds. We're looking at blizzard conditions, also drifting. So really very hazardous, dangerous conditions here. It's a fairly cloudy start to the day. Outbreaks of rain, sleet and mainly high ground snow to the north of the central belt. Some heavy rain coming into southeast Scotland though. But in saying that, we're going to see some drier conditions for the west coast, even some brightness up towards uh, Mull and towards the western Isles. And the northern Isles faring pretty well too, largely dry with some brighter sunny spells. But it's brisk easterly winds making it feel bitterly cold as we head into this evening. The snow level lowering down to more lower levels as we head through tonight. Always drier in the west. Still got that keen easterly wind, so it will be cold. That's your forecast. Right, it's going to be a busy old weather forecast. Stuart <laughs> okay. Ralston has all right. the details. Down to business. Thank you very much, Graeme. A very good morning to you. Plenty of snow in the forecast and more widespread snow coming our way tomorrow. But for today, it's a mainly high ground feature to the north of the central belt. We have a yellow warning here. Then we have the higher tier of amber warning from the Met Office. Now, it's rural communities over high ground that really will be affected. But uh, plenty of snow falling here, significant accumulations. Blizzard conditions on those brisk easterly winds and drifting of snow. Really treacherous conditions. Don't underestimate how difficult it will be if you're out and about. But cloudy outbreaks of rain, sleet and mainly high ground snow to the north of the central belt. Rain further south. Some heavy rain coming into southeastern parts of the country. It does become drier for the west coast. Even some brightness for the western Isles and the northern Isles escaping predominantly dry. Lighter winds here but elsewhere it's a keen easterly wind making it feel bitterly cold. Further spells of rain, sleet and snow, more snow to lower ground as we head through into the evening and overnight period, drier and clearer in the east. That's your forecast. Judah, thank you for that. And of course, this is causing lots of... Good
Good morning. Well, quite a lot of snow in the forecast over the weekend, but this morning it's the northern half of Scotland that will see snow initially, mainly over high ground. There is a yellow warning, a fairly widespread warning lasting through until tomorrow, but it's this higher tier of warning, Amber from the Met Office, for these higher rural communities. Drifting snow, blizzard conditions, really treacherous conditions here. The warning lasting through until six o'clock tomorrow morning. So it's cloudy. We have outbreaks of rain, sleet and snow. The main focus of the snow across southern Scotland and will be across the hills. But increasingly, we'll see the snow in the north becoming uh, down to lower levels as well, and some heavy rain pushing into parts of the southeast and Fife. But drier for the west, it will eventually become drier, some brightness, and similarly for the northern Isles, but feeling bitterly cold in those brisk easterly winds. And more than a way of snow at low levels for eastern and southern Scotland tonight. In the west, it's drier, and the northern Isles still feeling very cold with an Good morning. Well, quite a lot of snow in the forecast over the weekend but this morning it's the northern half of Scotland that will see snow initially mainly over high ground there is a yellow warning a fairly widespread warning lasting through until tomorrow but it's this higher tier of warning amber from the Met Office for these higher rural communities drifting snow blizzard conditions really treacherous conditions here the warning lasting through until six o'clock tomorrow morning so it's cloudy we have outbreaks of rain sleet and snow the main focus of the snow across southern Scotland will be across the hill but increasingly we'll see the snow in the north becoming uh, down to lower levels as well and some heavy rain pushing into parts of the southeast and Fife but drier for the west it will eventually become drier some brightness and similarly for the northern Isles but feeling bitterly cold in those brisk easterly winds and more than a way of snow at low levels for eastern and southern Scotland tonight in the west it's drier and the northern Isles still feeling very cold with an ice risk that's your forecast